Hello, this is Tom from anti-proton.com and as many of you know, I love uranium. Uranium has been used by human beings for thousands of years, mostly as a colorant. Consider this plate from the 19, I guess, 30s, 40s. It contains uranium oxide. You know this because when a Geiger counter comes near it, it goes crazy. Well, this will be a short video. I think uranium in its natural form is beautiful too. And so I have some amazing photos to show you. At least I think they're amazing. I took pieces of uranium like this. This isn't really the most beautiful piece of uranium on Earth, but it's quite radioactive. The spectroscopic dosimeter will give me its actual reading in a moment. And I put them under the microscope. And I exposed them to long wave UV light. And I took some interesting photos, I'd like to think. All of them are my photos. Um, they're copyrighted by me because I took them. Anyhow, this guy right here, this little piece, looks like it's putting off 0 0.48, 0 0.49, 0 0.5 microsieverts per hour. And by the way, that's based on the actual energy, which is what this unit does. It's not referenced to cesium-137. But, of course, big pieces like that don't really work. Now, we have uranium throughout our entire lives, like, for example, in this piece of granite tile that you might put, find in your kitchen. But what I needed was little tiny pieces, like these bits right here that I got from uh, United Nuclear. Little tiny pieces like this. Again, good and radioactive. Wow, these are hotter than the uh, big piece I had. Well, without further ado, here is the uranium that I took pictures of. Tell me what you think about them. And remember, naturaluranium.com. That's my website for natural uranium because I love uranium. This has been Tom from anti-proton.com and enjoy. Here is a piece of autonite uranium from the Daybreak mine in Spokane, Washington. It's actually uh, photographed in total darkness. It's actually illuminating itself with ultraviolet light being shown upon it. It's actually quite beautiful. Here is a piece of pitch blend uranium. The pitch blend has been exposed to a very bright light and as you can see the crystals are semi-transparent. They're very shiny and lustrous normally. They kind of um, look like obsidian if you were to look at them up close and personal in large pieces. Here's another piece of autonite. This one is actually a kind of a thin wide piece as you can kind of see. It has beautiful crystalline structure when you look at it up close like this. It's a very thin piece, a fleck really that I had photographed under pretty high magnification. This is a very low magnification, probably only 40x of autonite uranium again. Look at all the interesting inclusions from all the other rocks that are found in it. Very, very interesting specimen to find. Actually quite radioactive too. Very radioactive. Here's another piece of pitch blend. The coloring is actually, it's not really a false color, but it's the result of a white light shown upon the uh, mineral. The crystal's reflections are actually changing the um, spectrum of the light a little bit. That's where you get the purple from. It wasn't a purple light. And finally, another piece of autonite. I call this one kiwi. I'm sure you can tell why with the little black specks, which are actually inclusions of probably hornblende or something like that. Again, this is taken under really high magnification. Isn't uranium beautiful? This is Tom from anti-proton.com and bye.